Hey, all, George here. You know, I was sharing with some people in a Bible study today about um, about the virgin birth, and um, you know, I'm thinking how Joseph just believed God uh, because you know, I, I don't know how I would have felt uh, about being engaged to some someone who all of a sudden just happened to get pregnant and uh, you know the angel of the Lord appeared to to Joseph in a dream and you know um, would I have just bypassed that dream I mean, I mean really he, he must have believed God we read about you know Abraham and how, how his how Abraham believed God. It was more than just believing in God, but that Abraham believed God and it was counting counted unto him as righteousness. And, you know, if God said, George, take your son up the mountain and and sacrifice him, would I? And, you know, we think, oh, well, you know, if God were to lead me and I knew it was God, I would do it. And we get all spiritual about things like that. But what about when God says, George, I want you to give your money here or George I want you to take this homeless guy um, out to dinner or George I want you to give this guy a ride or hey look there's somebody on the side of the road stop and help them and we just keep going and you know how so many times just in our daily lives we're given the opportunity to believe God and we don't you know it's just crazy because so many people in the Bible believe God for so many big things. And yet when God talks to us about the little things in our lives, I don't know, our, our relationships, our marriages, our friendships, um, our work situations, whatever it may be, when, when God begins to talk to us about those things, we're so it's so easy to just shrug it off, I guess, in today's world where so many different answers are out there and where it's okay to procrastinate and where it's okay to be okay with not doing or not knowing. Yeah, so today, you know, believe in God. Believing God more than just believing in Him, but believing Him. I love you guys.